Alright guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something that I've done a few times on my Instagram and that's making it look like your hand is coming out of a shoebox. Alright, so what you're going to need for this is obviously a shoebox and a pair of shoes. For this I've used a Jordan 1 Rust Pink for that, but you can use literally any shoe that you want. You're going to need a camera stand to keep your camera in the same place. Ideally, you want to be able to use it remotely. I use the Canon app or you can get remote um, remote controls for them to also take a picture or you can just use a timer on the camera and then personally I prefer to do it with using a table to have the shoe box on or you could use a chair as well right, so you want to be taking two photos when you're doing this one like this with just the shoe box on the table or the chair whatever you're using and another one like this with you holding the shoe in the air and ideally you want to have, hold the shoe over the same position that the shoe box was so that the lighting on the shoe is the same that it was on the shoe box otherwise it's going to start looking a bit weird in the photo or you're going to have to spend a lot of time editing it so that's literally all you need for this photo so let's get over to the computer and start editing it okay so now you've got both your photos edited you've got the one with just the box and you've got the one with the shoe in your hand so what we're going to do let's go over to get the quick selection tool then pretty much Highlight over the whole of your arm and the shoe. Now the shoe should, should select quite easily, but your hand is going to be a bit more difficult. Get all the shoe done first. Zoom in to make sure you've got it all. Go to that bit. There we go. Now you'll notice it's missed a load of the arm. So you just have to start from the top and my finger even. And just push it out a bit more just to make sure it's got everything in. If it goes out a bit like that, you can press, if you press Alt, you can bring it back in from the outside. There we go. Down here is not massively important because we're not really going to use this bit. And then do the other side. Sec, where? Alt. Bring that back in. Get it start from the bottom and go up. That bit's pretty much fine. A bit there. Oops. Alt again, just to bring that back in. spend as much time as you want on this just to make sure it's as perfect as ever you can always fix it after this if you've gone too far out but sadly you can't if you've gone too far in as that looks about right so control c copy it and you got your other image here paste it in all right so if you grab this you move it about freely wherever you want ideally you'd want it dead center to the box you don't want it over here no neither that side either so you get it dead center and just literally put it exactly where you want so i'm going to go with about there and then you want to cut it off so grab the selection tool there cut it off Just at the box. That'd be good if I had that bit in it. There you go. Delete that. Oh, useful if I selected the layer. Delete that. There's that done. So you can see 
where I've missed a few bits there. And there. We can go over quickly. Your brush, or your eraser even. Just get rid of some of these. Oops. Bit too soft. Some of these bits that are really sharp on there. Because in real life, real life, you are making pointy, is it? This is where you can get rid of any bits that you've gone over too much on. And just bring them back in. Now at the bottom I'd say just get rid of, go over it a bit. Get rid of that sharp line. Oops, a bit too much. Razor again. Because you don't want a sharp line just sitting there, a little weird. So when you're doing this, you want your razor and the hardness to not be at the top, I'd say about 50% or less. And there you go, it's done.